right, y'all, here is my outfit of today. Today is Tuesday, and I'm headed just to run a couple errands, but still wanted to look a little put together. I was gonna wear heels at first, and then I was like, I don't think I wanna look that put together. <laughs> so I have an oversized button down and a pair of oversized jeans. I feel like this is kind of one of my go-tos when I am just wanting to look good, but don't really want to put effort into my outfit. It's a formula that always works. To me, it always works. So this one is from Everlane and I like it because even though it's oversized, I still feel like it kind of has some shape somehow, some way. The way they constructed it, it just works really well. I like to scrunch up my sleeves. And then these jeans are from Vici Dolls. Let me actually pull them up a little bit because they are dragging. They're really long. I am like 5'8", just about, and these are a long pair of jeans. Like, as you can see, with sandals, they're kind of dragging on the floor. I am gonna pull them up a little bit. But with heels, they hit the floor just right. Like, not dragging, like barely cascading, which I do love. But I do think they work well with like a pair of sandals. You just have to hike them up a little higher. Right now, they're kind of sitting like around my low waist, and it kind of needs to sit like high-waisted. But yeah, very comfortable. They do have a little bit of stretch to them, which I do like cargo style. I'm not letting cargo style go. I don't know what it is, but they have a hose on me. And my bag is my Brandon Black with Nia, which I feel like I haven't really been wearing. Something about her, I don't know why I have not been gravitating towards it, which is no reason because she's, she's cute, but she's finally getting her moment today. And okay, my bad girl, my bad. Yes, yeah, she's finally getting her moment today. I love how like wide the shoulder strap is. I think that it's extremely inclusive and also great for like, if you're wearing like a thicker sweater or something like that. They did a really good job with this bag, honestly. The detailing, the hardware, everything about it. I've talked about this in my Brandon Blackwood um, haul. If you wanna see more of that, I will link it above, but it's a really good bag. My sunglasses are Loewe. I love them because they have this gold anagram, the logo on the side, and I do just love like the shape of them. I just feel like they just work for my face shape. Earrings are Cezanne. They're like these cute little heart earrings. My rings, these are, this first one right here is from Grace Personalized, and the 5'8 is significant to me. It's a representation of my mother. The This ring right here is from Gorjana. I got it for my birthday, also back in 2022. Told you I was doing a lot of shopping back then. My necklaces, this one, this chain link one, which I think is very cute, is from Gorjana. And then this one is from Lilia May. It's like a woman's body. I love it so much. It just feels very feminine. And then my watch, Citizen Watch from Disney, the one that they gifted me at my Disney trip, which the time is literally so off, but that's okay. I'm wearing Fenty Beauty Icon Liquid Lipstick in the shade HBIC. I like a red lip with a kind of a neutral-ish outfit. Oh, my sandals. My sandals are from M. Jimmy. They have this kind of like cool detailing. That is my outfit of the day, y'all. Time for me to go and I will see y'all tomorrow. All right, see y'all later. Bye. So there's a lot of construction happening outside of my apartment right now. So I'm gonna have to keep this like kind of short and sweet. Happy Wednesday. Here is my outfit of the day. Wanted to go for a kind of cute little casual vibe once again. I'm going to a gifting suite. So I really wanted to be comfortable to walk around and you know, look at all the stuff. But also I have not worn these Aritzia effortless pants. I literally got them last year and I have yet to wear them. I wanted to actually get them tailored because they're a bit long on me, but I decided to get the tall. Probably should've just got the regular. I was like, okay, I still have not taken them to the tailor and they're just sitting in my closet, so they have to be worn. So, first time wearing them. I really love their effortless pants, it's very comfortable. I've had the linen version before, but this is my first time getting like the crepe version. It's nice, it's nice. For the price, I would say maybe wait till it's on sale, but it, it is a nice pant. My crop top is from Vici Collection. It's actually one of my favorites just because, I don't know what it is, but I just feel like it just makes my upper body look really good. Every time I wear it, I'm always just like, this is a this is a good crop top. My blazer is Aster the Label. It's this nice kind of taupe color. I went with taupe just because black on black would have just felt a little too professional. So I feel like taupe sort of breaks it up a bit. And then my shoes, we have my denim Jordan ones. These are my first pair of Jordans. I have another pair that I don't really wear too often that was sent to me by Jordan because they saw my TikTok video about me saying that these are my first pair of Jordans. But they're so cute. Of course, my first pair would have to be denim. Like. Of course, they're such a cute little pair. Now I know people care about the creasing. I don't, mine's have definitely creased. <laughs> My bag is Brandon Blackwood once again, same bag I wore yesterday. I don't know where I got this hat from, but it's cute. It has a heart on the front and then on the back, I think it says loved, which 
That's cute. This ain't nobody's behind me. No, you're loved. My glasses, they're new. They're from when I went yesterday. I picked them up from Shop Covery, Covery Eyewear. They're an eyewear brand. And they gifted me these sunglasses. And I was like, ah, these are so nice. Earrings are J. Crew. Necklace, I honestly cannot remember. I'm so sorry. And then I have my little coach bracelet here that I haven't worn in a minute, actually. And yeah, that is my outfit. Sorry for all the noise again in the background. Ugh. They've literally been doing construction for like a year now. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Anyway, here's my outfit of the day. And it's time for me to go because I said I wanted to get there like around 1-ish 15 and it's already 12.58. So I will see y'all tomorrow because I'm going to yet another event. So see y'all tomorrow. Happy Thursday. Can't believe it's already Thursday. I feel like time is flying. Here is my outfit of the day. I went to a gifting suite earlier and just got back. So I wanted to make sure I filmed this before I was done for the day. But I am in love with this outfit. Ugh. I've been wearing a maxi skirt in my closet for the longest, but surprise, surprise, this is not a skirt. This is actually a dress. I picked it up from the gifting suite that I went to on Wednesday. And when I picked it up, I thought it was a dress. And so when I was told, or I thought it was a skirt, so when I was told it was a dress, I was confused because I'm like, this is literally a skirt. And when I got home, I tried it on as a dress. And honestly, I just wasn't loving how it was looking on my body as a dress. It just, I don't know, it just wasn't flattering. I prefer like satin dresses if it's going to be a dress to have a bias cut. And this does not have a bias cut. But as a skirt, as a skirt, I was like, oh, this is real cute. This is cute. I could do this. It's this stunning pale yellow color, which I feel like is perfect for the spring summer, giving very Easter vibes. It does have a slip underneath it, which is the dress portion. I may likely go to my tailor, get this hemmed up just so it's like not super long on the floor, probably like this, and then also get the slip removed or maybe just have her add like a longer slip. But for now, it's getting the job done. For my top, it's this Lulu's tank. It is one of my most comfortable tanks and I feel like one of my most flattering. I don't know what it is about this tank, but I just love the way it looks on my upper body. It just gets the job done. I think it might just be the sleeve or sleeveless portion. I have broad shoulders, as I mentioned before, and I feel like it kind of just highlights that in a way that I like. My bag is a Bottega dupe. This is from Vici Collection. I feel like now it's like one of my quintessential bags. Not the real thing, but it's making me think that if I ever decide to get the real thing, it will be worth it because I really do love the way this bag looks. My sandals are M. Gemini, same ones I wore on Tuesday, I believe. And then I have an anklet on. This is from Cezanne. It has like pearl details and gold detail. I think that is so, so cute. It is officially anklet season. The weather is warmer. The toes and feet are gonna be out, so we gotta adorn them in the way that we can adorn them. It's my favorite sunglasses, these are the Desi's 2000s. I am obsessed with these shades. It comes also in like pink and I think blue, but this, this neutral tone gets the job done every single time, every single time. It's rimless and it has like gold detailing. It's just a really bomb pair of shades. Like she really did that or they really did that with, um, with these. My earrings are definitely Tory Burch. Tory Burch, they have like these, like the Tory Burch symbol on them. I don't know if you can really see. My bracelet is Meshki. So cute. This skirt can be dressed up or dressed down, which is why I like it so much. Like I will definitely dress this up another day. But for right now, this little dress down look is doing it for me. And then I'm going to get dressed for Easter on Sunday. So I will see y'all on the weekend. All right. Bye. <music> Happy Resurrection Sunday, y'all. So here is my outfit and the final outfit for this week's What I Wore in a Week. I just came back from church and wanted to make sure that I showed y'all what I was wearing <laughs> before I forgot. So let's get into it. The skirt is from Meshki. It is this nice little kind of really large ribbed knit skirt. I featured it in a haul recently. I'll link it above. It has like a black trim on the bottom, which I think is also very cute. So I decided to pair it with this Spanx turtleneck, which is very comfortable, extremely flattering. It's just a really good turtleneck. It's one that I was wearing consistently, like when it was really cold. Didn't think I would have to bring it out today, but it was just randomly cold yesterday and today. And then my coat is from Everlane like this nice little trench coat i wanted something that would still keep me warm but that was lightweight enough for me to not feel like i'm being overheating or anything like that it's really nice it's a nice length i feel like it's nice enough to pair with the skirt and then my boots are zara i've had these boots for a minute now and i'm never getting rid of them they're one of the most comfortable boots i own but also the color this kind of burgundy color is just so cute to me they also have like this really nice block heel you can kind of see this really nice block heel that 
makes it comfortable i love the square toe yeah everything about it i just love they are a pair of knee high so they're kind of like well, let's see right there i have my tory birch bag i bought this a while ago from an outlet and it's actually one of the uh, bags I always wear when I wear these boots because the colors kind of just play off of the boots really, really well. Also has a gold detailing, this kind of gold chain detailing. This is like my preferred gold when it comes to gold on bags, kind of like an antique gold. You kind of see the vibes, kind of antique -y, which pairs really well with my Valentino belt. I don't even forgot I had this belt. Until I was thinking about this outfit and I was like, right. And I wanted something to help like bring this all together. It was just feeling a little plain to me. Without the belt, it was just looking a little too plain Jane. So my Valentino belt, again, has the same kind of antique gold. Where are my Tory Burch earrings again? This uh, chain bracelet is from Jenny Bird. It's kind of, I've had it for years now, but I can't let it go. I don't know, I just love it so much. This is from uh grace personalized this is from Rajana, and then my nails guys look at these press ons i am genuinely shocked at how good these look these are opie they're express owns i did do some good cuticle prep as well and i feel like that really just helped the nails like come out so well and then finally my headband is from verse because it is wash day for my hair but i obviously didn't have time to do that before going to church so i just slipped my hair back and i put the headband on top just to kind of give it a little character and then my lips I have not worn a burgundy lip in the longest time. I like my nude lip combos, my glossy nude lips. But after wearing that red lip earlier this week, I don't know. I was like, I forgot I had this color. It was gifted from Smashbox. I'll put the color and the name and all the stuff below. But I forgot I had it until I thought that I had it. And I was like, wait, I felt like this color would play really well with kind of like the vibe of this look. This is the outfit. This is the outfit. And yeah, that concludes this uh, round of what I wore in a week. I'm not sure if I'll have one next week because I'm not really doing too much next week, but I will keep these up because like I said, this is fun. So appreciate y'all for tuning into this video and I will catch y'all in my next one. Until next time. Bye.